There could be more trouble at uh, LaGuardia Airport today after awful gridlock yesterday. Travelers knew they could walk faster than the cars were moving. They got out of cabs and they walked to the airport again. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan is live at LaGuardia with more Candace. We've seen this before. What a mess. Good morning. Absolutely, Michelle, it was a mess. Good morning to you. Grand Central Parkway seemed to turn into Grand Central parking lot yesterday, and we could see more of this happening tomorrow. As Heather warned, they're going to be switching over some of those traffic patterns to work around and accommodate some of the construction that's happening here at LaGuardia. Now, Newscopter 7 capturing Thursday's madness from above. Airline passengers deciding, like you said, it would be faster to walk than to stay in their taxis or Ubers. Port Authority saying the congestion was the result of what was likely the busiest travel day ever at LaGuardia. Plus, the height of construction and then a slew of flights left over from Wednesday's storms. Passengers were at their wits' end. I've been flying in and out of this airport for over 10 years. I've never seen anything like this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was nuts. And I mean, the shuttles were crowded. You know, it was just kind of like one of those perfect storms. Yeah, and LaGuardia Airport tweeting some tips on how to lessen the pain, saying give it some extra time, recommending using public transportation and reserving parking ahead of time if you decide to drive. They admit that they know that it can be difficult. Now, as traffic patterns shift tomorrow morning, you want to be on the lookout. Again, give yourself some extra time. What was exit 6 is going to be shut down. It's now going to switch uh, exit 7 to exit 6. So many of those things that Heather was warning about, you want to uh, be on the lookout for tomorrow morning.